Hello again, how are you? Well, today it's another unboxing and another Shark vacuum cleaner. I've been so impressed by my Shark powered lift away that I decided to get another one. Now, I wasn't going to get this particular model, but uh, I saw it at a ridiculous price, so I thought I can't pass that up. It was on sale for £100 and I had a, a discount coupon, so I saved another £10 off, so I got this for £90, which I think is pretty good value. So in this video I'm going to unbox it, assemble it and give you my first impressions. And because the last Shark video I didn't actually show the actual unboxing, I just showed everything out of the box, I had a complaint. So for you who complained, I'm actually going to show you the full unboxing. It'll take a little bit longer, but for those who like to see me taking every component out of the box, this is the video for you. Well, this is the Shark Rotator Slim Light Lift Away model number. Let me just check. NV340 series. So it doesn't have the powered lift away function, but it still has a lift away function. Still comes with the dust away tool. And this one actually comes with the caddy so we can convert it into a cylinder or canister, if you're in America, vacuum cleaner. Now, this box wasn't sealed when I had it delivered, so I'm hoping that it's all okay because I know this company hasn't got any more. It looks okay so far. So, first thing out of the box is the full instruction manual and there's a, a quick start guide as well. This is the microfiber pad, the washable microfiber pad that you use with the dust away hard floor attachment. Got a nice canvas bag with shark written on it to keep some accessories. I don't think it's got a drawstring, or does it? Oh, yes, it does, yes, thought it did. So it's a drawstring bag so you can hang it up on a hook in your cleaning cupboard. Right, first thing coming out it looks like the caddy. So this is something I didn't actually get with my powered lift away, but Shark were kind enough to send me one, which you would have seen in the demo for the powered lift away. It's a little bit dusty from the factory, but here we go. So this is the caddy that converts it into a compact cylinder. I'll be showing you all this in the full demo. I'll do a quick demo of it after I've unboxed everything. So there's the caddy, two wheels at the back, two swivel casters at the front. There's also a foot pedal so you can release the whole lift away unit off the caddy without having to bend down and press anything. Just touch your foot on there and the unit should lift away. Okay, so I'll put that to one side because I think there's going to be quite a lot more coming out of the box. Next looks like the power head for the vacuum. Slightly different design, I believe. It looks a bit different to my powered lift away. You can see the agitator. Very good agitator. It's why these shark cleaners pick up so well. Very stiff brushes. It's a good design. It's a central suction channel as well. So I have found the sharks I've used so far to be excellent at cleaning. And I don't think this one will be any upset, any, um, what's the word? I'm going a bit doolally tap. Any, oh, it's too early in the morning. Anyway, here's <laughs> some headlights. Two wheels at the back. So there we go. Pop that to one side. Next out we have, this is slightly different. I didn't get one of these with my other shark, but this is a dusting brush. Exception, that's the word I was thinking of. Thank you, brain, a little, little bit late. There's your dusting brush. Next, we have a shoulder strap. So this cleaner is an upright, it's a cylinder and it's a handheld. And when you've got it in handheld mode, for example, when cleaning your stairs, you can actually put it on your shoulder 
So you're only holding the hose, you've got the weight on your shoulder of the machine as you're cleaning the stairs. So that makes stair cleaning much easier. And I expect a little bit safer too. Next bit of cardboard out. Oh, it's even got, it's got everything, this cleaner. Next out, we have a crevice tool with an extend button. I think this, I haven't even got the thing out, but I think for, for 90 pounds, an absolute bargain. Even at the full price, I think they're good value. So there we have crevice tool with the extensions. So that's quite a nice long length for your nooks and crannies. Excellent. It all feels, you know, good quality, good full size tools you get with Shark. They're not like these tiny little things you get with a lot of vacuum cleaners that are no use nor ornament. Next out, we have the turbo tool for removing pet hair. I haven't used the turbo tool very much on my other shark, but when I did try it out, it seemed very good. It didn't slow down as much as some because it's an air powered tool. And as you can see, there's a little fan in here. You can actually open it up. I'm careful. There you go. So that's a turbine. So the suction powers the turbine, makes the turbine rotate. And then of course the brushes rotate via this little belt. A lot of turbo nozzles do tend to slow down when you put them on anything. But I did a quick go with my other one and it seemed to, to remain fairly constant speed. Obviously you'll see that all in the full demo of my other shark, which should be on my channel. I'll put a link to that below this video and in the video. So there is the mini turbo brush. Right, what's next? <laughs> it's such a lot. What's in here? Ah, right. In here we have the stretch hose. So it's clear. So if you get a blockage, you can just pull, extend it, and you'll be able to locate any blockage. And there's the handle, nice, comfortable. So obviously that's the handle of the hose, but also that forms the handle of the vacuum cleaner. You've got suction control as well, located at the top. And I believe that will work in lift away and upright mode. It'll reduce the suction at the cleaner head, but it also reduces the suction when you're using the tools. So there we go. It all seems very well made shark products. They are made in China, but as far as Chinese made vacuum cleaners go, I do think shark are a pretty good quality. Here we have, I think it's slightly different, yes, it's slightly different design to the dust away attachment I've got with my other shark, but it's still very flexible. You can see how flexible that is. It goes up and down and flexes from side to side. This is where the microfiber pad fits on. You've got a large suction channel at the front. So it's designed to deal with larger debris as well as fine dust. Of course, I'll be testing all that in the full demo video. Okie dokie, I thought I was near, near to the end, but a couple more bits yet. This is the handle of the cleaner. Now, initially I thought this was metal, but it's not, it's actually plastic. Of course, being plastic has the advantage of it being lightweight. Still feels fairly robust. So that forms the handle of the vacuum in upright, but because it's, I was going to say see-through, because it's uh, hollow, should I say, you can see through it, yeah? There we go. It actually forms the extension wand as well, so when you're cleaning above the floor, you use that as well. So, last, but by no means least, and that's very, very light, here's the suction pod. Now, I do believe it was Bissell that introduced the first lift-off type vacuum cleaner quite a while ago. And I do have a lift, uh, Bissell power glide with the lift off feature, but the actual lift off unit on the Bissell, the one I have anyway, is, is very heavy and quite bulky, but I did find the Shark ones to be quite light. Here is the energy label that we find on all vacuum cleaners sold in the EU. So it's an A rating for energy, it's an A rating for dust emissions, which means the dust that comes out of the cleaner should be cleaner than the dust that it sucks in. The air that's sucked in should come out cleaner. 
So it's good if you've got allergies. It gets a B rating for carpets, and this is on a scale from A to G, so B is pretty good. It gets a C rating for hard floors. It's 82, best, 82 decibels, so it's quite loud. And it uses 23.2 kilowatt hours per annum, which basically doesn't mean a lot. I mean, a vacuum cleaner, any vacuum, isn't going to add a lot to your energy bill. So even if you get a vacuum maybe with a B or a C energy rating, what I think the most important thing to look for is the cleaning performance and of course the dust emissions if you're allergic to dust. They are the most important. The A figure, really, the difference between getting an A and maybe a D or an E vacuum won't make much difference to your electricity bill. Here is the actual suction unit, so here's a suction motor. HEPA filter behind this grill, washable. And here's the clear bin. You've got one fixed cord hook at the bottom. There'll be another one on the handle I showed you earlier. You've got three switches. One to turn off the brush roll here. One to turn up on the actual machine. And the lift away button as well. And the other little catch is to actually remove the bin and then to empty the bin you press that now it's new so i'm gonna to have to give it a helping hand it'll be a bit s stiff at the time there we go that will loosen up yes it loosened up on the second opening so you empty the debris into the bin but with shark and it's a great idea a lot of people get frustrated with some bagless cleaners because a lot of the dust can get trapped around the shroud or the central part with shark you can just open up the top so even if you don't want to, you know, you don't even have to push the dirt down. By opening the top, often the dirt will fall down. But you can just push a blunt instrument down there, maybe an, a ruler or something if you don't want to touch the dirt. If anything gets trapped in there, just push it down. It'll fall out the bottom and into your bin. So I do like that idea. It's, Shark have really thought about this vacuum. And here on the top, you've got the two hooks that enable you to attach the carry strap. And finally, I'll just show you the filters. Again, they're all washable. How do we get them out? Oh, this pulls out like that. So you've got a washable sponge filter, and underneath that, a felt filter. I'll have to check how often you have to wash these. On my Shark Rotator powered lift away, it says every three months, but I do think that's quite optimistic. I'm using my Shark Rotator at the moment normally I have noticed, obviously, the filter's got dirty. It's not completely caked in muck, but I don't really think it will last three months before I need to clean it. Saying that, these are very easy to clean. They dry quite quickly as well. You don't have to clean the HEPA filter as often. Let's see if I can get that open while I'm stood here. Oh, there we go. Here's the HEPA filter. That needs cleaning from time to time, but the frequency is, is I think it may be just once a year or something like that. I have found as well on Shark's UK website that the spares and accessories for all their cleaners are very, very reasonably priced. So what I might do is buy a spare filter set. So when I'm washing one set, you've, you've got another one to put in. This is especially important. If this is going to be your only vacuum, obviously I have lots of vacuums, but if this was the only vacuum, it always pays just to buy a new, new set. So when you're taking these out, when they're drying and you want to use the cleaner, you can because you can pop in a spare set and just keep rotating them like that. So there we go, that's everything out of the box. Despite the fact the box wasn't sealed, everything looks okay. I'm very happy with it so far. Okay then, let's get it assembled. So the first thing we need to do is attach the suction unit to the power head. So just locate it over the top, press it down until it clicks in position. The next thing we need to do is attach the handle to the suction unit. Make sure that this little blue catch is to the back of the cleaner and this hook corresponds with the lower hook so that's how you'll know you've got it in the right way. So that just pushes down until it clicks. The third part of the assembly is to connect the handle to the tube until it clicks into position. 
The final part of the assembly is to connect the hose to the suction unit. You'll notice on the end of the hose that we've got this little U-shaped piece. That corresponds with a U-shaped cutout on the bottom of the hose inlet, so you just need to marry that up with the cutout at the bottom. Push it in until it clicks. The crevice tool and the dusting brush store on board the machine at the side here. And the cable wraps around these two cord storage hooks, one located at the top near the handle and the other at the bottom on the suction unit. So here's my new Shark Rotator 3-in-1 vacuum cleaner fully assembled. It's now time to give its initial first run. To release the cable we just have to turn down this top hook at the top of the machine near the handle. And we can plug the machine in and switch it on. Well, so far so good. It's very comfortable to use. It's relatively quiet. Very nice to hold looped handle. I absolutely love it. I'm becoming to sound like a real shark fanboy, but I can't so far fault it. It's another very good first impression, just like I got with the powered lift away. Now, again, I've just cleaned a very small area. And this won't be such a dramatic result because I have actually vacuumed this carpet with my previous shark a couple of days ago. But there will still be some dirt. There was no real visible dirt. I think, oh, well, it all, it, did you see it before it dropped to the floor? <laughs> Just from that small area. And of course the canister, there's a lot of dust, fine dust inside already look at that from just that small area again an impressive performance i absolutely love it and of course it's very versatile because as well as being an upright we can also convert it into a handheld and lift away so to use it as a lift away machine we can release the hose and the wand you can actually use it like this you can leave the suction base connected to the power head if you just want to lift the hose off and attach say the dusting brush to the end of the wand you can do like that and just use the machine quickly or of course if you press the lift away button you can lift away the suction unit so you've got a bit more light weight in your hand and of course you can attach the carrying strap okay one final thing I'll quickly show you before I go is the suction unit actually attached to the mobile caddy. So to convert the shark lift away into a compact canister vacuum or cylinder as we say in the UK, we just have to pop the suction unit on the caddy. It's clicked into place and now we can pull the machine along behind us and do all our above floor cleaning or when we're actually using the hard floor dust away attachment. You can even lift it up when it's on the caddy. It's still very, very light. And when you want to separate the suction unit from the caddy, you've got the big foot switch. Simply press that to release the caddy. And you've also got storage for the cleaning tools on the caddy itself. It'll just fit on these two storage stubs here. Well, that's the end of my unboxing, assembly and initial first look at the Shark Rotator Slim and Light Liftaway Vacuum Cleaner. Well, so far it's a thumbs up even before my demonstration, which will follow soon. So if you want to see that, please subscribe. Before the full demo, I know this cleaner is going to perform very, very well. If it's anything like the other Shark I've got, it will be superb. I love the versatility of this particular model. The fact that it's an upright, a cylinder and a handheld unit, three in one, and it seems to do every action very well. It's a good handheld, it's a good upright, 
and it's a good canister vacuum. So all in all, yes, I'm giving it a thumbs up before the demo, but I highly recommend Shark Vacuum Cleaners. Um, I'm absolutely blown away by the machines I've tried so far. There's still more models I can try, and uh, I will be featuring more Shark Cleaners, no doubt, on my channel very soon. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.